June 1, 1983, Mississippi Senator Thad Cochran took time out of a busy schedule to visit Sperry Vickers Jackson AMD facility. The purpose of the senator's visit was to acquaint himself with AMD programs and the facility's growth. Senator Cochran was accompanied by his administrative assistant, Wiley Carter. In a brief pre-tour meeting, the senator was introduced to the plant's staff and was briefed on AMD's participation in current aerospace, marine, and defense programs. The discussion was concluded with the showing of a three-part television news report on AMD's Jackson plant that capsulated Vickers products and markets. What we'd like to do today is to let you have your coffee. We'll give you a brief Channel 3 uh, encapsulation by Burt Case on what it is that we do <coughs> here. And he can do it more succinctly than I can. First on the senator's itinerary was a walking tour of the plant which began with the front offices and engineering and with a stop at our new CAD cam room. Manufacturing manager Tommy Horton acted as the senator's guide during the plant tour, explaining the various aspects of our manufacturing process. The senator made frequent stops to examine various machines and parts and to discuss with the employees their jobs and their responsibilities. In the general machine department, the senator took time to learn about our electron beam welder. In our lab, the senator was shown the 757-767 flap drive motor in test, the entire MLRS system in its development test cell, and the B1 engine pump running in its qualification. In the assembly room, the senator visited with employees and reviewed the various pumps and motors there in process. Production testing was next where the automated test stand was explained to the senator and the need for close and rigorous inspection of the equipment prior to shipment to the customer. The final phase of the tour took the senator and his aide through the pre-ship area. The senator examined units ready for shipment. Among the units, hardware for the Boeing 757-767, the MLRS, the Lockheed C-5A, and equipment for the North American Rockwell B-1B program, which was on hand for his inspection. The last stop in the shop was the white Sunstrand Omnimill, which provided a good example of Sperry Vickers' automated machining capabilities. The tour ended in the conference room with Senator Cochran talking informally with members of the Vickers staff before he and his aide continued on their schedule. As a footnote to the Senator's visit, his visit was also covered by our local NBC affiliate, WLBT Channel 3 News. A reporter accompanied the senator's party throughout the plant tour, and the following story was aired on June 1 on the 6 o'clock news. Sperry Vickers is one of the largest suppliers of essential parts for all civilian and military aircraft. Today, Mississippi Senator Thad Cochran toured the Jackson facility. Cochran serves on the Defense Appropriations Subcommittee in Washington, D.C. Leslie Rose went along on that tour and put together this report. Sperry Vickers opened its Jackson plant in 1956. It is one of the capital city's largest employers with over 1,000 workers. The facility spans over 230,000 square feet. Before touring the huge facility, Cochran and several company managers watched a special series on the plant which was aired on WLBT last year. About 65% of Sperry Vickers' business comes from government contracts. The rest comes mostly from commercial aircraft manufacturers. The company is a major supplier of hydraulic parts for almost every aircraft imaginable, ranging from 727s to the huge Boeing 747s to the military's new B-1 bomber. In fact, it supplies parts to nearly every major Defense Department weapon. During his tour, Cochran spoke with plant employees. Calling Sperry Vickers a boom to the local economy, Cochran said Mississippi is ideal for other high technology industries. The success of this company illustrates how we here in Mississippi do have people who are competent and capable of performing uh, high technology type tasks. I think that speaks well of Mississippi. In all, Senator Thad Cochran's visit to the Jackson, Mississippi facility of Sperry Vickers provided us with a substantial opportunity to demonstrate to both the senator and the community the vital roles Sperry Vickers and its employees play in today's aerospace, marine, and defense marketplace.